All right, see you later. Have a good weekend. Girl, you know your father is waiting outside. You can wait 10 more seconds. You gotta dip the fufu in the soup. Is your hands clean, ma'am? Yeah, I just came out the bathroom. Okay, well. Get the um, spoon that's in that bag. That's the soup. Oh, look, there you go. You gotta eat that with your hand and you dip it in the soup. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye -bye. Oh, Mom, it's, spicy. it's supposed to be spicy. So I have peanut butter soup and foo foo. Foo foo. Peanut butter soup. Peanut butter soup. Foo foo. Yes? Why? Yeah, I got my AC situated. It um, the AC started working on a day. Marky, the AC started working on like a rainy day, a random rainy day. It started working. So I can't. I wish I can let y'all see this. Mm. Okay, um, I, I was texting Layla's father, but, um, so he's, ups so if you guys are not with your child's father and your significant other is not home, would you allow them to come inside your house? Because out of respect, you know, I said that he can't come inside and he needed to use the bathroom, but I said no, because, you know, the dogs, um, Kenny does, you know, doesn't like people coming over. So I was just like, you know, n you, you just can't come in. And then he got upset and basically was just going off on me via text. I don't, I don't know. I, today was not just, the, it was just not the day. And you know. You know, um, it's just not the day. I'm sorry. Like, um, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but, you know, we have, me and him, I know our history. We have our ups and downs. And it's just is one of those days that you just can't, you know. I'm, I'm sorry. It, I just got to respect my, just respect my household. Today, you just can't do it. I'm not saying that it won't change or you can never come or, you know, whatever. But just today is not the day to try to test those type of waters out. That's it. Marky! Anyways, I'm eating peanut butter soup with fufu. I've been craving this. Oh my God, it is spicy. Mm, 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 mm. Love it. I've been craving this. Well, I've been craving like um really I've been craving um cassava leaves. Mm. 
but this is gonna have to do. The place that I went to didn't have any cassava leaves. I'm not wrong though, right? No, I'm a nice person. I've always been nice, but you know. So now I'm now I'm not allowed over to his family's house, which you know, y'all know that I have a relationship with his his mom and them. Um, but now I'm not allowed over there because he pays the bills over there. I'm going off on how I can't do this and can't do that no more. But it is what it is. I mean, I'm not allowed at his house. And knowing that his my history with his wife, I wouldn't even ask to go in there to use the bathroom or nothing. So I don't even want to park in front of the damn house. Truthfully. Talking about some taking me back to court. For what? Take me back to court for what? Take me to court because... So that way you don't have to go to my mama's house. Okay. Hell. My daughter about to be grown anyway. She got about three more years. Four more. Three. Three and a half more years. You think I give a damn? I ain't got to deal with you. And, but I'm counting down. So when they left? So 18. And I ain't got to deal with you. That's a three and a half more years. So you better stop playing. I really ain't got to deal with you then. 18 years. I'm counting down to her 18th birthday. Leave me the hell alone. Leave me the hell alone. Oh yeah. I'm refrigerator making noises now. Okay, so. Uh uh. -uh. No. It's not just about using the bathroom. I have to put it off. But the dogs don't like new people. Okay? So the dogs, I got to get them, put them in a cage, and then, you know, it's just, we, me and him has never come to a maturity or to a common ground. You know what I'm saying? It's always some type of bickering. It's always all these years. For 14 years I had to deal with this. And I never stepped foot inside his house. Never asked to. I don't care how much I got to pee. It's, it's just out of respect. I don't do it. So I say no. It's a problem. It's nothing about, it has nothing to do with maturity. It has. It, it, it's just. It is what it is. I'm not going to argue nobody with it, but if I say no, it's no. Now, if it was my house, just my house, I may, may, but probably even then, I probably wouldn't even do it, knowing the history between me and him. He, oh, he petty, and I don't got time for you to go talk about me, my house, you know, like what he, like he used to do, how he telling people my house dirty and all this stuff, or, I don't have a big, my TV not big enough and blah, blah, blah. Or I have this and I have that. I don't have time for that. So, no, you're not bringing that energy in my house. I don't care if you got to pee or not. I don't allow that energy. When I come in my house, I let go of all the bad energy that I had during the day. And I go in my house and I'm not allowing bad energy to come through my house. 
<clears throat> that's just what it is. I'm not. No. Uh -uh. I'm not here to bash. Listen. And I'm also not here to bash him. The only reason why I'm kind of venting right now is because it literally just happened as I was getting ready to go live. But even then, I wouldn't even be talking about it. But, you know, my house, so my, my living space, I don't allow people in my living space. People bring bad energies and they can fuck some shit up with their bad energies. And I don't got time for that. We wasn't arguing, Joanna. We wasn't arguing. We wasn't arguing in person. Let's say that. It was through text. I don't argue in person no more. Because what you're... No, I don't argue in person no more. Because that's a whole different type of... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I said what I had to say. And I'm not mad. I said it through text. Ooh, this thing hot. I'm not mad. And it is what it is. Now, which, how you choose to... Uh, how you choose to uh, go about it. Or what you want to do going forward, that's on you. But, uh-uh. I'm good. Uh. Y'all, this soup is so spicy. Okay, let me show y'all. I think this is goat. What is peanut butter soup made out of, y'all? I hope it ain't pork. This goat, right? <gasps> is this pork? Is peanut butter soup made out of pork? This pork? No, I don't think this is teeth. Hey Marie, I know you did not just say this is teeth. That's bone, girl. <laughs> she said, is that teeth? Is this pork? I've, I've eaten peanut butter soup maybe a handful of times. Maybe like four. This is like my fourth or fifth time eating peanut butter soup. And you know what? I've never eaten the meat because I like the soup itself. And I've never eaten the meat. So I never knew if it was pork or not. I love it. I like it with the food too. So good. <laughs> so I make you fat? Mm -mm. Most Africans don't eat pork. Really? No. What do y'all see a jet black? The I do have jet jet jet. I do. I have one this color. And I have this color. I do eat meat. I just don't eat pork. What are the other jet black y'all see? Jet black. Jet black. How do you fuck you say that damn boy? Jet blender. Oh, I don't see. Anyways. But yeah, I have like two or three. I got two of them for Christmas one year. And then the other one I bought myself. Oh, this? This is Kenny's. Got ashes on it and everything. That's Kenny's, y'all. That ain't mine. Y'all know damn well that's not mine. Yeah, that's Kenny's ball. 
It actually looks like a damn dildo, if you ask me. I just got off work. Oh, damn it. Over here. Um, what was I gonna say? oh, it looks like a um, I don't know where he got this day going bone from, but why it look like a dildo and it's rubber, it's silicone. I don't know where he got this from, but I was when he first bought it, I was like, "Fuck you do with that damn though?" Uh, but it's not. Okay, that's enough soup for today. I actually got full fast because Layla didn't want to eat African food with me. She wanted Wendy's. So then, as you know, on my way home, after picking up our food, I was eating her fries and her nuggets with her. So then. I got full, and now, and the whole time I was craving my um my African food. I was like, today I I went to work today, and I was like, I don't know how or or what, but I'm gonna get my African food today. I'm gonna get my foo foo and peanut butter soup. Well, actually, I wanted cassava leaves, but they didn't have cassava leaves. They was out of cassava leaves today, so. I had to go with peanut butter soup, and they got my my favorite drink. This is one of my favorite drinks, y'all. And then they had these little fried donuts. That shit was so good. I'm gonna eat this later though. But um, yeah. Then I then went to Wendy's, and then end up getting a damn damn one um. Lemonade from Wendy's because they had a melon lemonade. So, of course, I had to get that. And that's why I'm saving my coconut water for later. I mean, coconut juice for later. Mm. Thank you. This is Lily Pulitzer. I don't know if you guys, if I ever told you guys this, but Lily Pulitzer is like a, um, is a designer she's a designer and um so all her like all her um uh patterns and stuff on her dresses you know what a, a lily pulitzer would look like like if you like once you see it you'll see all of her dress if you see all her dresses you'll be like that's lily pulitzer like no one has her fabric or her her designs and the only way you could tell is that when they're like her designs are all like this. And um, so, yeah. So, when you see Lily Pulitzer, if you guys Google Lily Pulitzer, all her designs are like bright, watercolored, you know, um, type of designs. And then I said all that to say, I just be rambling, y'all. I said all that to say, I be getting, I have a lot of Lily Pulitzer dresses because a lot of, you know, a lot of it is. Um, work dresses so i buy them for work but i also uh have the i wear them a lot because my my one of my cousins in philadelphia is actually um one of their designers she's a technical designer for lily pulitzer so of course we got the hookup and i all my work a lot of my work dresses are from lily i say all that to say that Oh no, they have different designs and stuff. Like they have, they have, um, like, you know, they're all work dressed, you know, they do have like resort stuff and like swimwear and all that, but most of their dresses are work dresses, but they're bright, they're watercolor, they're bright, they're fluorescent. Um, but they do have like, you know, cut out ones, sleeveless ones, which I have a lot of sleeveless ones. Um, a lot of shift dress. I don't know if you guys know what a shift dress is. A lot of those. So, yeah.
that's one of my favorite cousins in Philly. There's two of them. There's my cousin Robin that I hang out with, and then my cousin Linda. They're the old, they're my older cousins. And Linda was always into like girly stuff, fashion design. She went to school for fashion design. She lived in Paris for a while, went to school out there. Her son name is Landvin, and everybody knows Landvin is a very famous uh, Parisian um, designer, French designer. Um, so yeah, she was like my fashion forward cousin. And then I have my cousin who's like the stylist. She likes to style, like she has a lot of styles. She does wear a lot of designer too. And that's where I get all my like, that's who I, those are the two that I grew up looking up to. And those were like, you know, they were my older cousins. So one of them loves to draw. She loves to design clothes. And the other one likes to style. She has a lot of style. So, you know, of course, boom, then you have me. <laughs> I'm going to just work on my hair wet today. But, um, I didn't have, I was supposed to work from home today, but then my boss called me in to go to work, so, so I, I'm in work attire. I'm just rambling on today, y'all. I don't have nothing to talk about. Um, it's a rainstorm. The storm already passed us. We had a whole tornado warning. And really bad, um, really bad, uh, rain earlier. So I think it went up north. You still cool with Brittany? Which Brittany? My Brittany? Because why wouldn't I be? <laughs> yeah, it definitely went up north because it rained here around like 12 noon. I want to say like around noon so i'm pretty sure it already went made us the storm made its way up north already so and if you're on the east coast yeah that's what i'm talking about uh when not winter storm tornado storm tornado warning yeah i was wondering which bernie you talking about if it's my bernie i i mean where's she going Where's she going? Matter of fact, I was just with her last weekend on the boat. Got my nails done. I did a dip powder this time. And y'all know I did it, of course. They had my favorite color. I mean, that's not my favorite color, but this is my favorite color that I like on my nails. Um, what am I doing for Memorial, ooh, Memorial Day. Well, Memorial Day itself, I don't know what I'm doing. But tonight, I'm going to stay in the house and watch Stranger Things. Tomorrow, I don't know what, what I'm doing tomorrow. But Sunday, I'm going to a birthday brunch. I might have to go live for this one because my outfit, I have it in my head on what I want it to look like. And how I want my hair and stuff. So hopefully it comes out the way I want it to. But I, I'm i wearing fuchsia and lime green. So my dress is like a satin like slip dress. And I got these fuchsia gloves. And I got these fuchsia like mule heels. And I'm thinking about putting my hair in a... Um, like a ponytail. I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing my hair. But the outfit is really cute. In my head. So. I'm going to see how I execute it. Because sometimes I think of an outfit in my head. And I'm like. Ooh. This would look cute with this. And I be. Trying to. Trying to. Picture it. In my head. And then when I actually put it on. I'm just like. No. This doesn't work. But, 
So people ask me like how people don't know how, some people don't know how to shop, right? They don't know how to shop for themselves and sometimes when they like when they have one thing to like if they have to buy something or like they have to go like let's say you have to go to an event, right? And they have like an attire that they have to wear, that's how they shop. Some people shop by the by events, right? Like they shop based on what the event is. And then you have some people who just buy random shit. And then some people who actually buy according to outfits, which is also me. I so if I if I if I think of an outfit in my head and I'm like, oh shit, like, okay, this is what I want to wear. This is how I'm picturing an outfit. I go on Amazon. I go to all my little boutiques, or I go to Shein or or Fashion Nova, and I try to find something similar to what I'm thinking about and then I put it in my cart and I think about the shoes I think about everything the accessories and everything so that's why I have so much clothes because I buy by outfits I don't buy just to buy I mean I do I do but most of the time I I buy by outfits like I buy all my clothes by the outfits and in half the time more than half of that time i don't even wear that outfit like if i'm thinking about an outfit and i buy all the stuff that i will want to go for that outfit sometimes i forget about it and then i just like so pieces of that outfit that i buy for ends up going to a different outfit so that's how that's why my my closet is just talk about a tornado storm Whew, that shit's all over the place. And I got shit that I ain't even popped the tags off of, which is not a good thing. It's really bad. Um, so yeah, that's how I style myself. Minus work. Work is work. But that's how I that's how I shop. So I'm the worst with budgeting. I'm the worst as far as like if you want to budget your your closet and stuff like that do not ask me about that because i will be like bitch buy this 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 and this and then by the time you look at it you're like damn this i don't have no money so don't budget <laughs> your closet based i mean or or ask me to budget your closet because i am the wrong person for that now if you need to i need advice on um on what to wear i'm good with that now what i'm really not that good at is when you already have an outfit in mind and or you already put together an outfit or have one in mind and i don't like it the thing about that is that if i don't like it then i'm gonna be honest about it so i just much rather people don't ask me because I feel like when you already have an outfit together and you're asking somebody, does this look right? Are you honestly asking for their honest opinion or do you just want them to say, oh, they had a, that looks cute. And then so that way you have a reason to wear it because people say it's cute when it's really not. I'm the type where if it's not cute to me, I'm going to tell you. So... If you want advice on an outfit that you already put together, please do not ask me. Oh. Someone said the trolls are here. Oh. Uh, I'm not doing ASMR. Okay, hold on. What What are they saying? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do look tired. I am tired. Food life with Joan. Welcome, since you are new. I'm just looking. I'm trying to see what who. I'm trying to see who Emery. All these people, Emery over here blocking. You know, I'm nosy. She blocking everybody. She don't play with y'all. Y'all don't. Emery don't play with y'all. Okay. I'm be trying to read some of this stuff, Emery, but Emery. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it don't play. She already on it. <laughs> and Joanna be like, Joanna sounds like it sounds like, like that little kid that be like, uh oh, the trolls are here. She don't want to come and snitch. Uh oh, the trolls are here, y'all. Cooking with Didi um, says that she cooked peanut, her peanut butter soup with beef and it's good. Okay. That, that sounds good. Beef, I think beef would be better. How do you budget for vacation? Okay. You mean like the trip all together? If you talk about the trip all together, this is what you do, hair trick. This is what I usually do. So, for instance, like our family trip, right? I'm going to just use that as a, because um, I have little trips in between or whatever. Uh, my I have little trips in between my pit trips. But our next big trip is um, our family vacation, right? Everybody knows every year, me, Brittany, Mimi. And our other friends and our families, we get together and we go on a family vacation. Um, what I usually do is I like I book the resort, and then I don't have to worry about that no more. So like I'll book the resort ahead of time because the earlier you do get it, um, the cheaper it will be. And then so once you get like I try to do it months in advance. Because if you do it months in advance and you pay for, you budget, you budget the resort fees or like, or the housing fees. If you're getting a house, if you're running a house or you're doing a resort, whatever, what, what have you, whichever you're doing, you get that out the way. So you have your accommodations out the way. Then you do like, um, uh, flights. If you got to take a flight, so you would do that. And then you, then you budget everything else as far as food, amusement parks, or excursions, or you know any other extra uh, extracurricular activities. Whether you guys want to go out for dinner, you know outfits and blah blah blah. But I like to plan things ahead so that way by the time the within the next like the month or the month and a half, two months before the trip, I'll focus on little bits little things for the trip but that way if i have like flight and and hotels and stuff already booked months ago i don't have to worry about that no more you just worry about the little things along the way so always like because if you try to oh i'll just wait till my next paycheck and then pay for everything then you won't have no money you won't have no money. You won't have no money to enjoy your trip because then you're going to start penny pinching when you go on your trip. And you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I say if, you, if you're doing a big trip or whatever, um, do it months in ahead. And then, you know, um, I start, I start like buying stuff like toiletries and things like that, like a month before the trip. And so any money coming out you know any money coming in within the last month or two months of the trip will all go to the trip and that way i have a lot more spending money because i already got everything that i had to get months ago yep nikki said um some if you go through travel agencies they do that too they do they do payments so they you do um you do you book your i think you book your flight and your I never did travel agency, so I don't know. I'm going to assume. I think you book your flight and your hotels and stuff with them. And I think you can make payments on it. And then do it that way. But I, I don't take that from me because I've never, I've never done travel agency. I've always planned my own trips. So I don't know how that works. So don't quote me on that. But I believe that's how they do it. Like everything's already booked. So everything's basically pretty much good to go and then i think you just pay 
monthly or bi-weekly. I don't know what the payment plans are, but... Thank you, Stacy. And you know, they a lot of flights now do like, um, you know what? I might be lying. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you can do like after pay and Klarna on flights. Don't quote me or, or affirm and things like that. I don't know. Do not quote me, but I'm pretty sure these days with the way technology is moving like this, I'm pretty sure you can do like payments on flights and stuff. Hair check. If you actually know what you're doing, to be honest, if you already know what you're doing, you don't need a travel agent. If you actually plan everything, but you have to stick by the plan. If you actually plan everything, you you don't really need a travel agency. The only thing that with a travel agency does is that you can do payment plans really but if like if you if you know a trip is coming up i usually buy like sometimes i buy my flight first because it's cheaper and i have my flight already then i do hotels or i do hotels and, and then flight but i always make sure those two are the um the two items that i do first and i get that out the way months ahead and then you know the little stuff, amusement parks. I'll book a music, a music a little, a little, like Disney World or Universal or something. I'll book, you know, I'll pay for the tickets, you know, um, ahead of time so that way we're not scrambling trying to buy tickets at the park, things like that. So, do I prefer hotel or Airbnbs? It depends where I'm going. Like, if I'm going up the country, I want to do a whole, I like to do hotels or um resorts and if i do airbnb if usually i'd like to do airbnb when it's like was when it's within the united states right so if i'm going to like when i go to cali i like to do more um airbnbs there because i have a certain part of la that i want to go to i just get an airbnb where where I want to go because there's not always there's more than likely there's more Airbnbs than there are hotels where I want to go but if I do like overseas stuff or if I'm going to the Caribbean or something definitely do resort some hotels are cheaper than Airbnb yes that is true that is true some some hotels are cheaper um but it depends Sometimes Airbnbs can be cheaper than hotels and sometimes hotels are cheap. It's like all, it's all when you do your research, like you always, you just got to do your research really, to be honest with you. If you really want to plan a trip, you just got to really do your research. You got to really thoroughly do it. Um, the one thing I do like about hotels is that they, you know, they give you endless clean towels and things like that and, or they come make your bed and what, what have you. Um, what Airbnb is, you, you don't, you can't get that. So, you know, you got to make your own bed and stuff like that. They don't give you clean sheets or, um, I mean, they don't like clean your sheets or make your beds every day. Um, give you fresh towels or anything like that. You basically got to do that yourself. And the Airbnbs that I stay in usually have like dishwasher or like washer and dryer. So I have to buy like little travel size, like um laundry detergent or something so i can wash my clothes that's what i like about airbnbs though when i do travel i like to find airbnbs with washer and dryer so that way i think all i gotta do is just buy the the travel size like laundry detergent and then this is like my biggest like hack is that right before like the day before you know like you, you guys know how you pack to go home um, after the trip is over, that you usually pack the night before, right? So what I like to do is I, if I'm staying in an Airbnb, I like to wash my clothes and at the, at, um, wash my clothes inside the Airbnb that I'm renting. I wash my clothes, you know, um, dry it, whatever. And then I pack my, my bags. So that way I'm coming home with all clean clothes. 
Because, you know, sometimes when, when you're on a trip, you, like, you got to separate your clean clothes from your, you know, clothes that you already wore and things like that. Which, um, if you if you stay in the Airbnb with a washer and dryer, you know, just wash your clothes. And then that way, all your clothes um, from your trip are clean. And all you got to do is just unpack it and put it in, back in a drawer. Rather than, oh, I got to wash all these clothes when I come home, I got to unpack, wash all these clothes when you can just wash them while you're out on the trip. I mean, of course, it's, that's not always accessible, but just, just, you know, some friendly advice, hack. And I only know because I do this all the time. I usually, especially when I go to LA, when I travel to LA or when I go to Philly or something and I get an Airbnb, I most of the time, if not all of the time, when I get an Airbnb, I always make sure that there's a washer and dryer. I mean, if it doesn't, it's fine, but I like to have one with a washer and dryer for that reason alone. Uh, Nikki, we're not going out of town. I mean, we're not going out of the country this year. We were supposed to go to Hawaii, but that didn't work out too well for us. So, uh, so yeah, that, yeah, it just didn't work out, but we're going to probably do, um, we might, I might keep Hawaii. We might do it next year. We're going to try again next year for our family vacation if not, um, if it doesn't work with everyone's schedule, it would just probably be me, Layla, and Kenny. Or it can just, we can make it a vacation type of thing. And But I know I'm going next year regardless. So whether it's family vacation, uh, my little family vacation, or a vacation, I'm going to Hawaii next year. <laughs> That's how I feel. But this year, we're not. We're going to do Orlando again. We're doing Orlando. I found this awesome ass house. I cannot wait for you guys to see the house that I found for Orlando this year. Y'all know I, I love the houses that I get. And this is in the same community that I always shop for when I go to Orlando. But this house, bro, I don't think I would want to leave. It has arcade it has all these arcade games it has like air hockey it has the kids are probably not going to ever leave the house we're probably going to have to pry them out of the house because i don't think i want to leave out the house then it has a pool in the backyard it has 10 rooms 10 or 11 rooms i think it's 10 10 rooms so but the arcade, look, it has like a whole, the whole room has arcade and it's like one whole wall got a, like a line of arcade. It's going to be bomb. It's it's a bomb ass house. Y'all know I love planning family trips. So, um, so this is, this house is, this house is probably the, the best one that I've ever found. In my opinion. But you know, of course. Why wouldn't it be? I found it. We're staying the whole week. We are staying one full week. Vietnamese town in Orlando. Let me tell Mimi about that. I'll make sure I'll tell her about uh, Vietnamese town. Because, you know, me and her, we like to eat Asian food. Well, Kenny likes Asian food too. Layla likes Asian food. Juice and Javon do. But not everybody that goes to our family trips, like, you know, they're not always open to eating new foods or trying new things. And that's fine. But, you know, I love me a good noodle place. You know, Mimi loves her herself a good noodle place. But that's like our ritual now. We never... We never go on a trip anywhere, whether it's 
uh, a couple's trip or a family vacation where we did not go to an Asian restaurant. Or did we? Oh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, we didn't have Asian. Or did we? No. But almost every trip, we always have to stop at an Asian place. We did that at Vegas. We did that at Atlanta. We did that in Orlando plenty of times. I'm trying to think. But yeah, we always go to at least one Asian place. I know I haven't been to Cali for Christmas. Yeah. Sorry, that look like um, Andrea S. You look like my Andrea. And her last name is, it starts with an S, so I was like, Andrea, is that you? <laughs> but yeah. All right, let me get myself together. Go and, cause I got home, I got home and I had to eat my food before it gets cold. Ooh. This is all I brought with me to work today. Little, I didn't bring no bags, no nothing. This is literally all I had. Oh shit, I was about to say, where's my phone? Let me get let me get myself together. I'm gonna um I gotta get myself together. I ain't going nowhere. I'm watching um staying home and watching Stranger Things, but I wanna get out of my work clothes. I will be back on Sunday. If not tomorrow, but Sunday for sure. So you guys could get ready with me and see my outfit. And you know, we can chat it up, do what we do. But I'm gonna holler at y'all later because a girl is tired, okay? But I love y'all. I love y'all so much. That's how, uh, what that girl? Brittany got it from somewhere. Brittany got it from Young Miami, I think. She was like, thank you so much. <laughs> that girl funny. Anyways, bye y'all. Love y'all.